டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு இன்ஃபோஸ் வெல்கம் டு அனதர் வீடியோ ஃப்ரம் ஆயில் அண்ட் கேஸ் ட்ரைனிங் சீரீஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் ப்ராசஸ் எக்யூப்மெண்ட் ப்ரொட்டக்ஷன் யு நோ தட் ஒன் ஹைட்ரோ கார்பன் ப்ராசஸ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி ஓர் ஆயில் அண்ட் கேஸ் ப்ராசஸ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி இஸ் ஹைலி ஹசார்டஸ் அண்ட் வி ஹாவ் டு ப்ரொட்டக்ட் all equipment operation plant operation in a safely and efficiently manner so process equipment protection is an important uh, system uh, installed in various type of oil and gas or any type of chemical industry so let us see how this uh, process equipment protection system working welcome to this video process equipment protection individual pieces of equipment need to be protected against operating conditions that can cause serious damage these conditions are very specific to each piece of equipment and are specified by the manufacturer of the equipment or by the designer of the process health and safety is an important part of any industry but particularly so in the oil and gas and chemical industry which is categorized as a major hazardous industry operations are said to be safe when performed correctly however things can become catastrophic when performed incorrectly generally operators have tendency to take shortcuts which can lead by mistakes by providing equipment protection and interlocking system ensures that human error is eliminated by following correct process to be performed in predetermined steps some of the example of this uh, uh, hazardous condition or abnormality can cause in any type of uh, equipment operation in oil and gas industries uh, high or low temperature you know that one gas compressor is there gas turbine is there heaters various type of heaters are there uh, pumps are there uh, boiler is there so in any type of variation high or low temperature can cause uh, naturally coming so we have to control it if it is going abnormal condition it can make a very very high hazard situation so high or low, low uh, high or low temperature is an a classic example of uh, need to protect in a proper way loss of lubricating oil you know that one in a rotating machines vibration and low flow high or low level high or low pressure combustible gas leak or toxic gases we will discuss in generally what are the various uh, concept and logic and design involving in type of this type of equipment protection or interlocking system one or two example we can evaluate or understand or uh, analyze uh, analyze, uh, analyze here sensors various sensors uh, sensors uh, detect the fault or and take action to remove the source of energy from the equipment as soon as preset operating limit are exceeded uh, we have already discussed in our previous sessions what 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 is the actual meaning or duty or how the sensors are working to detect the fault or to detect the operating conditions reading set set points or process variable reading and how the sensors are working and how the sensors are sending the signal to the transmitter then it is a control room or Uh, alarm logic or trip, or, uh, trip system logic etc we have discussed that one if you didn't watch that type of video please uh, request you to watch that uh, process instrumentation uh, series uh, videos almost uh, 1 to 15 videos are there kindly take your time to uh, watch that video to get an understanding what is sensors and uh, transmitters controllers alarms and trip system while the sensors are specific to the piece of equipment the valves or switch they operate to uh, initiate emergency shutdown are often the same uh, ones used for general control purpose we have already discussed and we have already taken a, a detailed class on valves and switches they operate 
uh, about switches and the emergency shutdown how how it is system is working so this all uh, pending uh, or previous uh, videos uh, please watch uh, take take your time and watch understanding that one then only you will get that continuity of the flow of continuity an example is a uh, we will uh, see some uh, simple examples understand this uh, equipment protection an example is a fuel gas valve on an engine a controller may adjust the valve to regulate the engine speed uh, fuel injection you can say fuel valve however a low oil pressure switch which is part of the control loop operates the esd and will stop the engine by closing the valve completely another example is a, a level control valve normally operates the lic level indicating controller uh, from the figure we can see that it has two inputs with two output it also it, it is a two input is there and two output is also there esd this output is there it has also to compare two inputs to find the level of the vessel two input is there high level and low level is there or normal kind of operating uh, level uh, or the set point and the high level is there the function of the controller is to receive the two inputs compare them with the with uh, then with the set point and convert them into a displayed output hence the title lic level indicating controller uh, the resulting signal is also sent to the valve actuator which opens or closes at the demand of the vessel that is the so the, it's simply meaning that one the this is the sensor is there and transmitter is in between it didn't show here and the controller is there so sensor is uh, taking sensing the level actual level in the wall uh, in the tank and sending to controller through a uh, transmitter to convert the proper signaling and uh, then uh, lic is uh, level in the controller is comparing with the set point say it is example of 50 uh, percentage then uh, the output is sending to the control valve that is what it is mentioning here the resulting signal also sent to the valve actuator which opens or close to the demand of the vessel so whenever the level increase it will valve will adjust whenever the level decrease it will adjust so that is the usual uh, a uh, normal uh, operating condition should be the high level is be indicated it will be alarm and shut the valve so it is the whenever the high level the, the uh, this one this one it is uh, i will take this one look at the laser pointer i will take and this one you look at this one this is the high level switch is connected that is also connected to the, this lic what is happening should the high level be uh, indicated it will alarm and shut the valve this valve will sh shut if the high level remains the controller output will be overridden by a high level shutdown esd the valve will close and stay closed until the level is lowered to a safe level so this valve this lic controller is working two way one way is for the normal operating condition this uh, level control will work smoothly operate the level inside the tank but in case any abnormality coming away from the set point the level increasing or decreasing from the set point that is the esd system the trip logic system will overridden by the high level shutdown and this will uh, override it will take control and it will trip this valve also so for the safe custody of the level inside i hope you have understand this one if you get the time to permit the time you will go to your field or get an e and id ap and id just to have a look at that one how this is the system in your area working so next is interlock so interlocks are another mechanism of protection essentially they will not allow a piece of equipment to run unless some specific condition are satisfied normally these conditions are applied to either upstream or downstream of the critical piece of equipment uh, here we will uh, see an example see the uh, figure here a clear example of interlock mechanism before the burner can be lit there must be sufficient process fluid flow through the heater tubes if there was no flow the tubes would be overheat and damage 
So this is the furnace you can say simply you can see the furnace and this is the fuel pump is there fuel pump is there and uh, the fuel is supplying here. Uh, sorry, uh, the, this is not fuel uh, fuel side, it is a process fluid. Our aim is to heat the process fluid here. Process fluid heating. So the pump is, uh, this is the inlet to the burner, uh, furnace and this is the exit to the burners, uh, furnace. So the fuel line is this one, gas valve. Gas is the uh, firing fuel is here. So what is the system logic is telling? Uh, whenever the flow is there through this uh, uh, inside the coil, inside the coil, then only the burner should on. Burner should, should start ignite. So, if uh, there is no flow inside this one, if the firing is started, if the empty tube will uh, uh, expose to overheat and damage. So, to avoid that one, they have to arrange a temperature sensor and uh, another sensor in the flow sensor is here. Flow and temperature sensor is here to connect to a TAC and it is connected to a gas wall. So, whenever the flow is there, flow, flow line is there, flow, flow, flow is there in through this lane and then only it will, it will overtake the temperature sensor condition here. Normal operating condition temperature temperature sensor will take care. But uh, in case the flow is reducing, flow is stopping, this sensor will take care and shut down this valve, fuel line. So that will protect our uh, entire furnace and this uh, flow uh, tubes inside the furnace. So that means no flow, no fuel to the burner. That is the uh, uh, over uh, interlock mechanism is here. Okay. Another example is the pre-lube cycle uh, on a gas turbine engine. Before the starter rotates, the shaft of the turbine, the pre-lube pump is uh, given a signal to start. If the low boil pressure does not attain a certain pressure, in a certain time the starter will not be energized. That means no pre-lube pressure, no starter. That is a concept. So that interlocking mechanism is working properly. Interlocks are used extensively in control systems and ESD system. In ESD system, the interlock usually lock out a system and must be manually reset after the problem has been removed. So here are some of the examples showing uh, this uh, picture is giving a burner management system. Uh, this system is using in uh, uh, furnace, heat, heating furnaces and boilers. Uh, in boiler or furnace, you know that one air and fuel is required to uh, maintain proper the uh, fire inside the furnace. So fuel is uh, passing through the uh, this system, and here you can see that one. See, it is uh, uh, two three detectors are connected to this uh, boiler or burner management system. What what it is? It's a pressure also. You can see that one fuel gas pressure inside or uh, uh, air flow pressure inside or air flow pressure high or low uh, that you can uh, find out and uh, uh, take a proper uh, uh, commanding position to the uh, shut down the fuel gas line. Another one is uh, in case if you are uh, uh, pumping to the fuel inside this one but the air flow is not sufficient. In that case uh, uh, what, happened, what will happen the incomplete combustion will take place. Uh, result of that one incomplete combustion abnormal unburned gas can produce that is mean carbon monoxide in a proper combustion gas uh, reaction you can see that when it is uh, hydrocarbon example CH4 uh, burning or uh, uh, taking uh, combustion reaction with uh, air in that one oxygen is reacting the resulting uh, uh, product is uh, uh, carbon dioxide CO2 plus H2O that is a reaction in chemical reaction. Uh, so in that one, if any uh, combustion is incomplete in that time, what will happen? CO2, that is C cannot, carbon cannot convert 100% to CO2. So unburned CO will come, uh, produce and it will uh, exit or escape to the atmosphere uh, through the flyer or through the stack. So in that case, that is uh, harmful and CO is a toxic, highly toxic. 
so that also they will uh, using a co sensor so if the co level is increasing about a normal level it will also giving a alarm to or trip system uh, logic to the building uh, boiler or burner management system abnormal pressure also flame out detection what is flame out detection is providing so flame out detection is providing fuel gas fuel is there air is there but uh, when whenever uh, automatically producing ignite unfortunately the flames are not coming up flames are not lighting up in that case the flame detector is uh, working and uh, if two three times uh, uh, pumping the fuel is inside it will form a combustible gas mixture maybe it will create a very huge hazard situation inside the furnace so that also flame out detection also can safely operate in uh, burn on management system these types of our systems are providing equipment protection plus interlock system i kindly request you to see your uh, working area there is any furnace is there what are the interlocks are providing there uh, and what are the equipment protection systems are uh, providing there uh, just to try to understand it and see the pnid for that what i am going to take a complete uh, classes for a pnid in in our coming classes and almost the equipment uh, process instrumentation cdc is going to finish now and in our coming uh, future classes and i am going to concentrate on pnids so this is also another example of uh, uh, typical industrial burner management system please review it and uh, uh, get more idea on it interlocks are used very extensively in control system and esd system so emergency shutdowns valves are using for esd valve another type of automatically actuated valve is the uh, esd valve these valves can either be normally open or normally closed a normally closed valve is usually closed used as a shutdown valve to isolate the vessel a normally open valve is used as a bdv blow down valve to depressurize the vessel uh, i have already completed and uh, released a video ex exclusively on emergency shutdown valve kindly request you to all of you to watch that uh, video uh, in detail to understand all uh, detail about uh, emergency shutdown valves uh interlock system uh, also you have to uh, when time permit you have to understand that one interlock system in compressor various interlock systems are using low boil uh, low level low boil pressure suction pressure cooling system etc how they are connecting uh, to protect the compressor uh, in a proper way efficient and safe manner so just to understand that one interlock system in compressor and interlock system in boiler as well and any other uh, equipments using in your area just to go and review and understand what are the equipment protection and interlock system using in your area thanks for watching this video please subscribe this channel for uh, timely updates and informations please join our uh, telegram channel uh, infos by hamsa v baba for uh, various updates thanks for watching we we are coming we are preparing uh, another uh, uh video from uh, infos uh, so by then uh, goodbye